Welcome back, YouTube. The latest shooting robots return with a Funko Mystery Minis review of um, Minions. Minions is from the, oh, also new camera setup here. <gasps> Jeff is now on the on the said <laughs> the screen to the right, to the right, and I'm on the guy to the left, to the left. So yeah, new setup here, but this is uh, Minions vinyl figures, uh, the full kiss of twelve blind packs. Ooh. Our director isn't here right now. He may show up later uh, if suddenly I'm not doing the directing. He's here. There we go. But, yeah, this is a set of Kiss 12. There's 12 in the series. Oh, okay. Uh, I can never remember all the names. I know that's Bob. Because <laughs> there we go. It's King Bob. Oh. It's not in frame night. So, yeah, you get. I can't remember all the names, but I think it's Stuart. It's our Stuart or Carl. I think Carl is that one. So, I think it's Stuart, Bob, Carl, uh, Naked Minion, King Bob, uh, Karate Minion, Royal Guard Minion, another Guard Minion, Egyptian Minion. Caveman Minion and uh, Ice Age Minion. Because oh. Minions are immortal. But what's with this movie exclusive thing? Like, I don't have a clue what this movie isn't exclusive Isn't it kind of figures. redundant because isn't Minions the... Well, I guess they were thinking you could make Minions, I guess, theme, but they're all come from the movie, so it feels a little redundant Maybe, uh... Maybe, I guess... Well, because they've they probably done other Despicable Me figures, right? They have. They, so, they did the... That's probably they already covered they, one of the leaders, actually. probably why the they link did right the here. Somewhere on screen. But yeah, just gonna be a typical Funko style boxing. Typical box, and then you get and the black the bag black and the standard. Bag. So these ones are just final figures, so no bubble headed action here. No, no bubble heads. Uh, first thing we get is <gasps> Egyptian, whichever minion this is. <laughs> he walks like an Egyptian. Let's just so slide this back. Exactly. Put the little minion here. They're a little lighter than usual, if I'm right, correct. Yeah, they're hollow though. They're Diglet. hollow figures. Diglet dig, diglet dig, banana. 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 Because minions they, love bananas. Or whatever you like. What do you ever say? Um, papaya. They love papayas too. Da, 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 da. Did you hear about that minion uh, from McDonald's? The minion toy that. Uh, what does it say? It curses it. They feel say it curses, but they. The um, people that made a toy, <laughs> they said they were speaking Minionese. Oh. It sounds like he's. I can't remember what he says. I think it's like fuck you or something <gasps> there. Minions. But it's one of those things you hear it after you hear what someone says it says. Oh, because now you can't unhear it now. Now again, now you can't unhear it. Now we got uh, King Bob. King Bob. You think he's quite a nice wit. Quite yeah. a big part of the like, accessories and everything on. Probably. So it's yeah. actually a nice appeal on the inside. Yeah. It's quite nice. I like this one. Paint's actually quite clean on that one. I do find Mr. Egyptian Guy does suffer a little bit of straight line itis. Yeah. And the nubs on his head. But you know what? We can't paint. These are mass produced. Yeah, exactly. Upskirt. Yeah, quite nice to paint on that guy, too, so... Well, yeah. Of course, there's a minor defect. Yes. And you can see on Bob here that his crown is just kind of glued on. There's no way to figure out who's who, right? I guess they all kind of weigh the same, in a matter of speaking. Yeah, in a matter of speaking, also, you're talking about grounds here, where yeah. it's going to be really... For me, it's really hard to decipher <laughs> between grounds. So when I go Funko shopping, I should buy it. Well, this guy's easy to tell. He's a royal guard. He's got a very large nubby on his head. Oh, he does. It's very big. So he's obviously... Royal Guard Stewart, I think. Or Royal Guard Bob. One of the two guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's no son now. I'm sorry. I guess I'm not So, done. yep, we got Royal Guard Minion. Oh. With a bazooka. Wow. Nice I can't believe like a nipple in the front. Hee <laughs> or something else. But yes. But. I mean, the nipple. He's Whoa. kind of top heavy, but. Yeah, but thank goodness we'll, we'll, we'll for him. Lo his lower. His lower center of gravity helps keep them balanced. Yeah, good thing they're kind of stubby at the bottom. So I'm, I'm liking the line. It's just They're cute. You know? Oh, uh, the human figures are heavier. Yeah. Because they got the higher so grade plastic they use. Oh, okay. So these ones are hollow. As obviously, the CF money gets the sculpting. Yeah. Very unique sculpts between all the figures. Yeah. But uh, it's just the way they do the line. Yeah. Oh, we got Caveman with marshmallows on a stick. Aww. Uh, I'm sorry if the... Was it blurry? Uh, a little blurry there. I'm sorry if the other ones are a little blurry. <laughs> but... Oh, sorry. You're blocking the light. My artificial sun. There you go. Yeah. Try to get the focus. Just the... See it, the oh, it's got... I already hit the focus. Oh, so, there we go. Yeah. It's such a cute... It's a little I like the fact that you can get the little hole from the stuff for the arm. Go for yeah. You can see where it's been glued. Yeah. But still, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. Kind of got the monkey arm dragging thing going on. Yeah. It's rubbery here. It's actually quite a solid rubber, so it's actually quite nice that mm -hmm. way. Look at that. Hey. Hey, That's a great. Just 
tear down. Yeah, you want to just cut the. Uh, I might not be useful. You have a useful one just sitting there? Yes. So yeah, I'm hunting this movie. I did see the first one and it was hilarious. Banana. Banana. That's under below because they have a yeah, they do have good friction there. Oh, we got the other cube man. Our cube minions, I say. You having trouble there? Yes, just a little. Always in the background, I think, shaking around. <laughs> but yeah, uh, <laughs> very nice one. The hair is rubber, kind of solid rubber arm. They served in the rubber arms recently. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, oh, you already started cutting them, so... I have. I'm going to cut this one. There's nothing to cut. There's nothing to cut. Just your imagination. You just cut from the top, I don't care about the packing. Oh, okay. You know, like me, that there's that weird ritual with cards. Ah, so uh, we got the... Uh, ice... Ice Age, uh, minion. Ice Age. Good luck. Uh... We need to get a light filter or something at some point, but... <laughs> we're working on it. <laughs> yeah, we're doing slow upgrades, but we're doing Upgrade. upgrades. In, we're doing upgrades in time. See, so, there's Ice Age minion. And then we got another small one. I think this must be a Bob. Who are you? Oh, you're a Niggin oh, minion. Oh, nudie. Well, or more like Garden of Eden version, I guess. No, it's actually from when they uh, prehistoric when they actually uh, first arrived. He's got a little leaf of course, but oh, just to hide the crack. Give him up skirt. See uh, what oh, there you go. Minion oh, with the lights on, at least answering him. Oh, shucks. There we go. But yeah, still really cute. A little bit of a over glue there because they actually glued oh, the hair the on. Hair's down. Ah, okay. But still, it looks really cute. You can't really notice it from a distance. Only if you look really close up, you can see the yeah. overglue. John, where's Bob holding the teddy? Oh, we got Karate Minion. Karate. We are. So the premise of Minions is they're on the world to serve the most uh, evil uh, criminal mastermind type thing. And you usually fail to draw. So they go over the times. They go around, they go around time the and, uh, time yeah, serve the, oh. serve the evil mastermind type Gunch. of person. That's the role of a minion, that's why they're oh. existing. Oh. I like this hair because it's all combed down. Yeah. These guys must be the same guy. I don't know, I'm so sorry I don't know their names. There's a lot of minions. It's I just, oh, I guess they all have different things. Yeah. But I just kind of thought they had the similar speed. Bob is the, the king one there. Yeah, oh wait. And um, then... The Stuart and Carl are, I think, the three main ones from the movie. Carl? But... Oh, okay, so this is your regular modern day minion. Yeah, this is, I think... Looks like Stuart, but... Yeah. It looks like he's using a lava lamp. It does, actually. That's what I was thinking. So maybe this is taking place in the 60s, so... Yeah, so maybe this will really take place in the 60s. It could be right. like a lava it's lamp like a gun prequel, or something right there. Right, right to Despicable Me 1 and 2. Yeah. I see. But yes, this, this, this is before Gru. That's why it, the uh, start of the trailer is like... See my ears, BG, before Groove. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, we got Bob with his little Teddy. Aw. Teddy. Imagine Mr. Bean's Teddy. Except for sticking in his tongue. <laughs> yeah. So get that. They can kind of see it there. But really, really cute. Mm -hmm. I like that one a lot. I think it's probably one of my favorite ones. Yeah, he can there. go in front of the king because the king crowd is so damn big. Uh, we got two more to open. The, the ones we're missing is uh, it's like the guitar other... one and the other guard. Yeah, it's a Napoleonic one. Oh, that's okay, what it is. That's Napoleonic right. minion. Okay. Which yeah. I think I'm holding right now because it's really tall. I've got feather. There's another the feather in the hat. Ah. So we got Napoleonic minion. Uh, okay. Oh, look at him. He's got Because I truly also served Napoleon. Yes. Napoleon. Who coincidentally was short just like these guys. <laughs> History. He wasn't as short as people say he was. No. Or someone said that they have his penis kind of.
kind of like preserved somewhere, which is kind of weird. Yeah, they preserved a lot of things back in those days. Yeah. So this is obviously Guitar Minion. I don't even think they had it. Yeah, they're Tiny a little top-heavy. footprint on your goggles. And Guitar Minion. Guitar. Guitar. So who would be the villain in this one? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just a set piece. Am I thinking into it too much or not looking into the source see, it's, it's a nice line. Uh, I do have to yeah. see the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, so I see, I see a second movie, but this is a prequel, so I'm okay with it. I can actually see this and not to ruin the story. There we go. But I'm going to get one of the other minions in current because they were yeah. slightly different. These are... F they do feel really light. Again, maybe they're, you know, vinyl figures often are hollow, so we shouldn't be terribly surprised by this, but... These ones feel more solid, though. Yeah. Oh, that's true. And you know what? I think this guy's the same guy. No, nope. one eye, two eyes. <laughs> so they have lightened them. Yeah. Okay, so they've hollowed um, them. These out. ones are more characterized. Mm, okay, so it's like, what do you... What do you sacrifice? So, yeah, they... I think they've went done more details than these ones. Mm -hmm. So they had to sacrifice the sculpting because yeah. there's more detail put in. Oh, okay. And they kind of hollowed them, yeah. Especially when you get ones like this with all the fur and the wood green yeah. on the... Well, I'm almost thinking they'd almost be too goggle. heavy if they'd be solid with the small footprint they have. I yeah. mean, this guy, he's kind of... Uh, especially the ones like this. Sloppy. Yeah, exactly, I suppose. So, obviously for cost, they had to reduce the cost because of these guys. Mm -hmm. Where when you get the little bob here, he's obviously not didn't cost very much to make. Yeah. But you got one like this who would have cost a lot of the plastic. A little bit plastic. more of the tooling and the paint. Yeah. yeah. And that, and he would just be ridiculously heavy. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Him and the Napoleonic one would yeah. be really heavy. But so I can kind of see that's why they went with a little bit of the hollow version. But still, yeah. all in all, really nice. They complement your previous collection really well. They do. They, they do match. So. They do fit in. Yeah. They are about similar height, so that's yeah. okay. Uh, this must be Stuart. Paint's Stuart a bit darker is tall. on the older ones too, though. I yeah, the paint is darker. That's yeah. also because you get the more Probably solid the plastic. plastic compared to hollow plastic. There we go. Especially if you mold it in yellow. Yeah. So that that that'll be the main case there. Yeah, yeah but these guys are molded in a different color and repaint because you can see the overpaint on the yellow on top of the blue. Uh, so they paint the blue before they paint the yellow. Da, da, da. But yeah, they still fit in really well. Yeah, they do. They integrate really well. So be sure to look out for these on your favorite Funko retailers. Yeah, they're everywhere uh, now. So exactly. Or you could be like this guy and just buy a whole case to ensure yourself the odds of getting a whole set. Well, I do like in the full set. Don't like missing that. Oh, there you go. Hey, anyway, thanks for watching YouTube. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. See ya.